Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver, and we have a large selection of new and used trailers. So our new brands that we carry are our Cimarron and Logan trailers. I've got one of them right behind me now. Um, we also take in a lot of trades. We do a lot of buy bids on trailers. So if you're looking to sell your trailer, you can always contact our horse trailer manager and he can put a buy bid on your trailer so that you don't have to deal with tire kickers. This trailer that I've got behind me, I know you guys are already drooling over it because it looks so cool. Um, but this, is what, this one is sold. So this is actually a trailer that a customer of ours, he put his name on, he made some modifications to it, and he got it sooner than waiting for a completely custom build. So if you guys are in kind of a bind time-wise, we can always take a look at our on-order list and see if there's anything that we can kind of modify and change that's kind of close to what we have in that slot already so that you can have the trailer you're looking for in a reasonable amount of time. So this right here is a 2022 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck. And this trailer, when I say he did all the bells and whistles on this one, I am not lying. This is a guy that he hauls his horses up and down the road dang near every week all across the country. So he knows exactly what he wants. He's had several different Cimarrons from us and he really likes to have kind of the new setup. He likes to do a lot of cool things, which makes it really fun for us to build trailers with him. So he is trading in a Windstar three horse gooseneck. So if you guys are looking for a, a cool little setup, um, we did a video on one of our new ones, the demos this week, but we've got a used one coming in. So that's the cool thing about some of these builds is it does allow us to get some cool inventory in on trade. So the first thing you're probably going to notice is this weird little nose on this trailer. I think this is the best setup you can do on a trailer. If you don't need that additional space in the nose for storage or sleeping, I'm always going to recommend that you throw a V-nose on your trailer. The reason being is number one, it gives you excellent turn radius. So you can really crank this trailer around in tight spaces and not have to worry about a big nose um, cleaning out the back of your window or your bed rail. So a V nose is gonna help with that. It also, one of the reasons I really like it is because you get about two to three miles per gallon more um, in your fuel economy by going with a V nose trailer. It just really cuts through the wind, it's very aerodynamic. Um, and especially on an eight wide trailer, we wanna make these things as streamlined as possible. So this Vino's, he is not gonna feel this trailer behind him. And it's a pretty decent sized trailer. It's actually eight foot wide, it's seven four tall, and it's 23 and a half feet on the floor. So it's not super tiny. I think that anything under 24 and a half is like the perfect trailer to pull because you can get in and out of tight spaces. Um, it's really easy to access a lot of gas stations and it's really easy kind of to move around. So he's gonna love pulling this trailer around. So under here, we'll notice some of the first upgrades that we did under this trailer. Right on this side, on this left-hand side, we've got our air ride. So this trailer, he's pulling his horses all over the country. He does not wanna have to deal with horses getting off the trailer sore. So by putting air ride on, you still have your 7,000 pound rubber torsion axles, but on top of that, you actually have airbags. So your horses are traveling on air. It's really nice, cushioned. Um, we've done a lot of tests on our air ride trailers, especially with water buckets where we take two five gallon buckets and similar trailers, one with air ride, one without. And it is amazing how much of that water spills out on a rubber torsion axle. So those air ride trailers just get a little bit of splash. So just imagine that's what your horses are having to put up with as they, you ride back there. Some people spend fifty to hundred thousand dollars on these horses or even if it's a old rescued ho horse these are all family members um, we have a lot of investment into these animals so it's really crucial that we invest in their health when they're traveling down the road air rides an expensive upgrade but we find that in the long run between your resale value um, it's going to be so easy for you to sell an air ride trailer you get a lot more money out of it when you go to turn it around and also the longevity of your animals, your truck, and your trailer. Um, this helps prevent a lot of wear and tear on your vehicle and your trailer. 
on these aluminum trailer there, trailers, there's a lot of flex and it helps kind of minimize some of that, um, keeps these trailers nice and strong for a long time to come. Everything is um, kind of all built in. So you've got an onboard compressor. You don't have to have an airline from your truck. Um, it's as simple as switching it on and off and raise and lower. So it's not something complicated. It's not rocket science. When you're traveling, you're always going to want it on in the raise position. And it's a little counterintuitive. The raise arrow is down. And I like to think of that as like you're picking the trailer up, you're pushing it down. Um, and then the lower is the up position. When you store it, you want it off, you want it lowered. And then we've got an air bleed right here because when air compresses or when you air, when you make, make air on your trailer, there's a lot of condensation that happens. So we want to spit all that condensation out, especially if we live in a cold climate where there's um, a danger of it freezing and cracking airlines. So it's really, really easy to maintain. We've got a little on off switch right here. And this is a cool little thing that he decided to do is he put a 16 inch awning light right underneath the snows. So if he's hooking up at night. I mean, like I said, he's traveling all the time. So he wants to be really prepared. He's going to be able to see everything under here without having to juggle a flashlight or or use use his truck lights to kind of light everything up. So this is a really, really great handy little upgrade. In here, you do have your battery box. He added an additional battery on this trailer, um, as well as your battery disconnect is going to come standard anytime you have an electric over hydraulic jack. He's not going to be wanting, with how much he uses this truck and trailer, he's not going to be wanting to hand crank this trailer up and down. It's not something that's going to be an incredibly heavy or hard, but at this point, a little luxury like a hydraulic jack is not too much to ask for. Having a light like this that's kind of hidden, it is nice to have your battery disconnect because when he walks away from this trailer, he can be assured that if he switches this battery disconnect to off, he's not going to have any power pull from his trailer draining his battery so that he has to hand pump his, his jack up and down. The nice thing about these equalizer systems is they do have a manual override. So if you do have any issues with your batteries or you run it down to the ground, Maybe your truck isn't charging as you drive. You've been using your battery for your air ride system. You do have the ability to take this little, this little baton here and you can crank this up and down. It's a lot slower than just using the click of a button. So if you want, if you want to get a good workout in, you're always welcome to try and hand crank up and down your trailer. But we do have that button on there that just simplifies a lot of things. All right, so I'll save the tack room for last because I know people really enjoy that. <laughs> You'll see all the extra button lights he did on this trailer, and he also did extra awning lights. So he's got two big 16-inch awning lights per side, those button lights running on the top rail. He's got a center indica indicator light, and this is something we do standard on all of our trailers over 26 feet on the lot, but a lot of our customers are actually adding these on. And what's really nice about those is if you're in a turn lane or you're trying to get over, you've got somebody next to you, this will flash when you brake and when you are trying to indicate to get over. So if somebody's next to you, they can see that, hey, I'm trying to get out of the way here and they can have kind of idea that you're trying to get over without having to be at the end of your trailer. So this is a really ha handy thing, bigger trailers, smaller trailers. I've even put these on some bumper poles. So this is a nice little upgrade that I think a lot of people are going with. The cool thing about a Cimarron trailer is that every trailer is a custom built trailer. So whether it is a two horse bumper pull that we've got in inventory or something like this trailer behind me, every trailer we have selected how we want it built. So there is never an out of the box option for a Cimarron. Everything has been hand selected. Now we try and keep a variety of inventory um, so that if somebody walks onto the lot, they can probably have something that's going to work for them. But if you want to go really custom like this guy right here, the world is your oyster. As long as the engineers sign off on it, Cimarron is game to do a lot of things to make it exactly how you want it. So custom by design, these Cimarron trailers. This is something you're not going to see on a lot of trailers here. This is a hay room, but instead of just the 050 aluminum sheets, 
we actually at our shop rhino lined this. Um, so these hay rooms, you can usually fit about 15 of those small bales stacked in here. He wanted to be nice and streamlined. He wanted to get the hay off the roof so that he can kind of keep that fuel efficiency and, and not act like a sail as he's going down the road. So a hay room is a really, really great option for those of you that are looking to not have to use a tractor to load and unload your hay. You want to stay ground level. This rhino lining is going to hold up really well to a lot of abuse. If you guys have seen a lot of hay rooms, they're, all that straw and all that force that you do, use stacking them in and out, over time, they get pretty scratched up, pretty beat up. So we're hoping to see how this rhino lining holds up against all that abuse. Um, it's definitely going to get plenty of use, and we'll probably get this back in on trade so we can check out how it's held up over time. So this is an option where we're kind of exploring. We're seeing if Cimarron um, can help manufacture it on other trailers here. Did a rubber mat in this hay room, so if you need to sweep or vacuum it out, you don't have to worry about it getting stuck in any carpet fibers or anything like that. We do have a light in here, so if you're shuffling around at night, you can kind of see what you're doing. Right here, we have our Cimarron owner's manual. So every trailer comes standard with one of these little owner's manuals. Um, it's got some of your warranty information. It's usually got an extra key ring in here in case you misplace yours. And then it's got a user's manual so that if you, there's any small questions that you might have, a lot of times you can check this book and it might be in there. These fold down steps, especially on an eight foot wide trailer where you don't have any running board, it is really crucial that we have a fold down step. This is a really nice option to go with because it kind of cuts your distance in half having to step in and out of this trailer. I've got a little two horse Cimarron at home and I don't have a fold up step on mine. It's a warm blood, um, so it's got no running board. And I know that that step is, or that, that first leap up into your trailer is a big step to overcome. So having one of these fold down steps has become pretty standard on every trailer that we've got here on inventory. So you can see he carried that over there. He's got tie rings on this hip side here with bus, bus windows over um, his last trailer was very much like that one right over there. So he had uh, plexiglass on his hip side and it's just not as quick to interchange. So he wanted to be able to adjust his airflow on his trailers at kind of the drop of the hat. These are big bus windows. They're not those tiny bus windows of old. You're gonna get a ton of airflow moving through this trailer along with the windows that he's got on the rear. He's got big drop downs on the head side. He's got roof vents over the horse's heads and then on top of that, Cimarron has a standard insulated roof. It's a FiberTech roof, so it's a single pour, honeycomb core. It's strong enough that I can jump up and down on it, although you shouldn't. Um, but but the, this ho these horses are gonna stay nice and cool no matter if he's driving in Texas, Florida, Wyoming. Um, it's gonna be really, really comfortable for them wherever they go. Got these nice extruded aluminum sides here. Um, these side slats are actually a triple hollow side, side slat. So that means you have hollow cores running through here, which increases the strength of this side extrusion. One of the reasons we really like to have these heavy duty extrusions on the sides is that as trailers go down the road, and it's not as important on an air ride trailer because it takes a lot of the abuse out of the trailer, but these will actually help keep those trailers really structurally sound. As trailers travel, they actually breathe in and out, and that's just, they, there's a lot of flex in trailers. So by having really strong extruded aluminum sides, you're increasing the strength of your trailer. You're helping prevent that, helping prevent wear and tear on your actual trailer. Almost every piece of these Cimarron's is an extrusion, so they're all interlocking. You're not going to see any metal metal fasteners on these trailers that are unsightly. Behind here, everything is attached with 3M tape. So it's the same tape that the astronauts use on their spaceships. Uh, once it seals, it is pretty much on there. You're not taking them apart. Um, but the cool thing about that is without the metal fasteners, you have increased strength 
you have a lot more quiet and you have a nice clean exterior. So your horses don't have to listen to things rattle and you don't have to worry about getting your rivets redone on your trailers. It's gonna look nice and clean and quiet for a long time to come. Right here, we have our 16 inch tires. Um, for those of you that wanna know how old your tires are, when we ask for your DOT code on your tires, on your used trailers, we're looking for this little four digit code right here. Those first two numbers, the 15, signify the week of production, and the second two numbers are the year of production. So these tires were produced in the 15th week of 2020. It's really nice for us to have that information because as a dealership, anything that is over five years from date of production, we are gonna replace anything that is not matching or has uneven wear and tear, they're gonna get replaced. So when we wanna know what your tires look like, we're usually looking for that DOT code. Um, the real shame is when they've got it on the underside and you have to cl crawl underneath your trailer and look. Um, there's a reason we wear jeans here <laughs> because I end up crawling under a lot of trailers to get that DOT code and look underneath. But that's what we're looking for. Um, so our customer is gonna have a really easy time on these tires to see when they need replaced. He actually upgraded these to a load range G tire. Um, so he's got a little more tire underneath this trailer kind of give it a little bit more longevity and life out of these tires. All right, so he's got a rear window on this door as well as the opposite one. This is something that we kind of changed off of the other trailer that he, we had on order. So we added a rear ramp. Um, all of his horses like to load in and out on a ramp. And then we actually split the single door into two doors. Especially if you live in somewhere like Wyoming with a lot of wind, having a big single door can be a little unwieldy. Um, sometimes that, that door wants to take you for a ride if it's really, really windy. So by having two smaller doors, it's a lot easier to handle. The wind's not going to try and rip it out. They've got nice holdbacks on each door, so you're not going to have to worry about them slamming shut as you're trying to load maybe a young horse or even a really experienced seasoned horse but it's just kind of nice that we have the ability to do custom options like that and kind of split the difference. You're gonna notice that this floor is not a typical floor that you're gonna see on a Cimarron trailer. Most people are used to kind of those rubber mats. Um, we actually did worm flooring on this trailer and the cool thing about this is, is it is not your typical black worm flooring. Uh, those people at worm, they're awesome to work with and they have a huge variety of colors that you can choose. I've done like purple, gray, and black mixes. We've done some green, we've got done some blue, done some red. Um, they have a huge option of colors. It's not a huge price increase to change some colors. And he likes having it look a little bit more like, like dirt for horses to step on. He thinks that it's a little easier to get them in and out. So he's actually done this, um, this brown and black mix on several of his trailers now. So it's kind of cool to see like, these custom options come to life all on one trailer. We've got two awning load lights here. They're eight inches. Um, so at night, these horses can see this ramp. They know what they're stepping in and out of. We've got this trailer lifted up on the air ride right now. Um, when those bags are inflated, you get about two to three inches of additional travel. So one of the best things to do is if you have an air ride trailer, especially if you don't have a ramp, just you can drop the air and keep it in the lower position so that those horses have an easier time getting in and out of your trailer. It's just as simple as turning that knob and you can get that air filled right back up. So, but this ramp makes it a lot easier if, if he forgets to un lower the trailer or anything like that. His horses still have a nice big um, steady ramp to get in and out. This is something that you're probably not gonna see on a lot of trailers running out there. This is actually a rear spoiler. So for those of you that have seen some of our Freedom trailers, there are Cimarron toy haulers that we've kind of partnered with Outlaw and Cimarron to build. And we put these spoilers on here to keep some of that dust and debris off that rear gate or off that rear ramp on those trailers. A lot of people, if you're living on dirt roads, you notice that a lot of that dust and dirt swirls around at the rear of your trailer and your back door is probably really gross. Your last horse might be really dirty when you get to wherever you're going. Um, our customer swears that this spoiler helps kind of keep, he's got one on his other trailers, 
he thinks that it kind of helps keep the rear of the trailer down and keeps it tracking nice and smoothly. And it just helps kind of re redo that, that air so that if he's got these back windows, he's not just going to be sucking air in that's nice and dirty. It's got lots of dirt roads to travel, so it's just a really, really good option for him to have. He throws it on just about every one of his trailers. But I think it just looks really cool. This is a trailer that it's going to get noticed. Um, you're not going to see this on a lot of trailers when you pull into a lot. So this is a cool option we can do. We've started adding them to a lot more. So I'm sure you'll see more of these running around out there. Right behind here, let me up, undo this. He opted for some backup lights. So these here, and he's got one on the other side. When he throws his truck into reverse, those are gonna light up so that he can kind of see where he's going behind him. Um, this is a, a really simple upgrade that we've been adding to a lot of trailers. So if you wanna be able to kind of see where you're going at night, um, just kind of light it up a little more, that will help kick on and it'll be a lot easier for you to park and back up at night. So those are an easy, easy upgrade. Got this nice Cimarron butt strap here. So as you're unloading horses, um, if you open a door, you're not just gonna have one come shooting out at you. Here, I'll open this here. See those hold, those hold backs are really simple to use and it just kind of keeps everything from slamming shut on us if we get a gust of wind. All right, in this trailer, um, he's got OptiBright lights over each stall. Um, these are OptiBright lights, they're LED, so they have a lot less power draw. They put out a lot more light um, and they last a lot longer. Everything is pretty much gonna be LED on these trailers, which is really, really, really nice. Um, these trailers have joined the 21st century with us. It's got a head, um, head pad right here, so if he's bagging horses in or out, um, if they end up throwing their head up, they're not gonna clonk themselves. We've got a little more height on this trailer, seven, four tall, as I mentioned earlier. So they're gonna have a little bit more easy of a time loading in and out. Since you are eight wide, you do have some wheel wells on this trailer, but it gives you a lot more length. Um, some people worry about having wheel wells on the inside. And if you look at a horse's anatomy, their legs don't just stop at their butt. So you've got some room here um, for their legs to kind of sit comfortably in front of. But if you've got a longer horse, an eight foot wide trailer is definitely the way to go. This last divider here, we did telescoping, and that's so that if he ever needs to run with this open, uh, maybe he's hauling some air fulls, maybe he's got an emergency colic or anything like that, he can run with all of these back um, so that he can close this door and have a nice open stall. It's definitely not something we recommend to do all the time. These are heavy duty extruded aluminum dividers. Um, it's what holds your horses in in the event that you have to slam on your brakes. So we want these to be really well overbuilt dividers. Um, but if you do have to do it occasionally, it's not a big deal. On these Cimarron's, anytime you have somewhere where metal is meeting possibly metal, they're gonna usually do some sort of a loop or some sort of plastic buffer. And that's for noise as well as longevity. Metal on metal actually wears a lot faster. So by having a metal against a really high grade plastic, you're gonna get a lot more life out of, out of your divider latches, out of your hinges. Um, it's gonna be a lot quieter for your horses so they don't have to listen to the ting ting of metal as it goes down the road. You've got kick mats all the way up here, basically to the window. It's line and insulate. Um, so you've got kind of a nice upgraded look. The horses will stay nice and cool. Stud divider on the first stall. Um, and everything's padded. This is our bar type um, airflow divider. So if you want your horses to have a little bit more airflow, um, to be able to see their friends as you're going down the road, this is an option that we can upgrade to over our solid um, dividers. One of the cool things about these, these uh, stud dividers is if you do want to throw some extra stuff up here, maybe some coolers or anything like that, um, you do have this space where it won't slide back into your horse's feet. Or if you have like a really grumpy mare gelding or stallion and you don't want them to cause trouble, um, you've got this full divider or this stud divider that goes all the way down. 
We did a pad on the wall as well, so his horses are going to be really comfortable. He has to slam on the brakes. They've got nice cushion to kind of fall against. Um, also, if you've got any light colored horses like grays or palominos or buckskins, um, this aluminum will actually kind of rub on them and then you'll get to a show and your horses will have gray marks all over them. So by doing the padding on the dividers, you're kind of saving yourself some time by not having to scrub your horses down when you get there. You've got feed mangers on each stall. Um, the cool thing about these mangers, number one, you can throw their feet up there, their water buckets. Uh, and you don't have to worry about hay bucket or hay bags or anything like that. But the other thing that's cool about it is underneath them, you get a lot of additional storage. So he is not going to have any issues with storage on these trailers. He's going to have lots of room to put everything that he wants to bring on these trips. Roof fence over each stall. You can see we've got some water in here. We just washed out this trailer. But this is our insulated roof. So on a really, really hot day, 90 to 100 degrees, I can put my hand flat on that roof and not scald myself. Um, it might be slightly warm, but very comfortable for me to hold my hand on. That's where a lot of the heat is trying to transfer in and out of your trailer. So by having the insulated roof, your horses are going to stay a lot cooler, especially by their heads, um, which is really, really important that we don't have hot horses riding on trailers. This is something a little different. He had us relocate the roof vents um, more towards the drop down windows, kind of right over their heads. That's where he wanted the majority of the airflow to go. Also, if he's feeling um, like he can reach, then he can actually pop these window or these roof vents in and out um, as he's traveling without unloading a horse. So he can reach in these drop downs and adjust these uh, pretty easily. So I thought that was kind of a cool little little addition. He's like, uh, move him over. He can reach him as he's traveling down the road. All right, so more cool things on this trailer. When we do those 18-inch uh, mangers. It allows us kind of this really cool space here on the rear. This is called our broom closet. And what is cool about this is we were actually able um, to fit a nice big 48 gallon half moon water tank here so that he's traveling he doesn't have to go and find water he can bring his water from home 48 gallons is a pretty good amount for for a lot of road trips um, but it just fits so nicely in this corner here cool thing about this is it's not in his tack room it's not in his dressing room so if he has a leak or anything or if he forgets to turn turn it off all the way um, this has got a nice rubber flooring on it. It's not going to flood where, is, where he's going to be walking. So putting this out of the way is just a really nice little advantage. It still allows you room for six bridle hooks here. And we've carpeted behind it. Anytime we've got bridle hooks, we're going to carpet behind them. And that's just to keep it a lot quieter for your horses on the other side. It also doesn't allow your bits to scratch up this nice 050 aluminum on the other side. So keeps it a lot longer, more beautiful, um, and quiet for your horses. Something he requested is we've actually got um, this pass through here from his broom closet to his mangers. And as you'll see, those mangers go all the way to the front. So if he has anything in here that's really, really long that he needs to, to haul, or if he just wants to be able to reach in and grab something, um, it just really opens up this space. This is an option, or if you want it to be sealed off, that's another thing we can do. So that's kind of cool thing about Cimarron. They are custom trailers, and we can, if you request it, they can usually do it. All right, so drop down windows on the head side. And as you'll see, kind of a little different from what we usually see is he had us put bridle hooks within the mangers. And so we carpeted that wall behind, got rubber mat on the floor right there. So if he has hoses or, or uh, more bridles or halters or anything, he can just hang them in there, um, get them out of the way, get them out of his, his dressing room. He's got a lot of storage space. It's something he added on later to his living quarters. So by having it in the build process, we can kind of do it at Cimarron and do it right the first time. Cool little option. These drop down windows, they are not those tiny drop down windows as of old. Um, so we've got big bus windows, big drop downs, lots of airflow available on these trailers. These jail bars, they're all one solid piece. 
there's no moving mechanisms on them. So by having one solid, well-working piece, you're also increasing their longevity, um, less risk of parts failing, which in the long run saves you money. So Cimarron's, they might be a little more expensive to get into, but in the long run, they usually are a lot cheaper than some of our other options out there. Big load lights on either side here, these awning lights, 16 inch. Um, like I said, this trailer is going to be so bright at night. Um, nobody will miss it. He can see exactly what he's doing as he's unloading and loading. Um, he's never going to have any issues with not being able to see. So now we're going to enter our, our front dressing room, tack room here. The first thing you'll notice is we've got this big um, six tier swing out blanket bar on a gas shock. So he can take all his blankets with him, um, have a few extra pads. You know, if he's bringing four horses, he can have a few extra pads thrown on there. Got a brush box underneath. That's just nice to allow you to have a little bit of space for, for kind of your grab and go items, your fly sprays, your hoof picks, anything like that that you don't want to crawl in and out of your trailer for. Of course, we did a fold down step. Um, these steps, like I said, on these eight foot wide trailers is just Highly recommended. I recommend them on our 610 wide trailers because it just makes that distance so much better to get in and out, um, especially if it's uh, on somewhat of a hill. So in this front dressing room, um, we have kind of a lot of cool little features on this one. Uh, we did a six foot short wall on this trailer, so we actually shortened it up over standard. This trailer used to have a closet tack with a hay room and he didn't want it quite as long. He wanted everything to be kind of in one space. But if you want your saddles and your blankets separate from your dressing room, it's a really easy option. We have this trailer reordered. Um, we can show you the spec sheets for that. But what he's got right here is he's got a removable saddle rack post. So if he ever needs to take this out and use it for additional storage, um, he's got that ability. But it's five, five tier saddle rack. Um, he added an extra one on there. These have the ability to slide up and down, so if he needs to kind of customize the different heights for the different saddles, it's just as simple as grabbing a little wrench and loosening those nuts and bolts. Right up above it, we've got this little vent here. Um, this vent is cool because it not only lets an airflow, but if he ever wants to add an AC unit or anything like that, it's pre-braced for the AC, so it's really easy to kind of drop one of those in there if he needs to add a max air fan or anything like that. It's already framed for it. Up in this nose here, um, everything is carpeted. He had us remove the windows. On these V noses, they've got a lot of framing in here, so it just, unless you go with an extra, extra tall trailer, um, it's just really easy just to kind of lose those windows and get a little bit more structural strength. Um, he decided to add an additional clothes rod um, so that he can hang all the show shirts, jackets, anything like that up in this nose. And you'll notice we've got quite a few lights here on this trailer. Um, he did three of those LED OptiBright lights. There's a lot of carpet on this line and insulate. So have it, having that carpet in here, it kind of sucks out some of the light. So by adding additional light, he's going to be able to see really well in here at night. This little boot box, um, Cimarron can custom build their boot boxes to different sizes. So cool thing about that is it does allow for a little bit of flexibility. He wanted the ability to be able to kind of sit down here, have a little extra storage right by the door, be able to get up into the nose pretty easily. Um, with this smaller size short wall, there wasn't quite enough room to go all the way over, so uh, we put in the size that would work really well for this unit. Right here, um, we do have these digital combo locks on all of our doors. So these combo locks are really cool. If you don't want to bring your keys with you, um, you have the ability to give people um, your combination and you can put those trusted you can give those trusted individuals access to your trailer without having to worry about making a billion copies of keys so something we we can always upgrade and add to any door on these Cimarron's this wall here is actually the back side of your hay room um, he did hooks here he did a big shelf in this corner with a clothes rod underneath and then he did additional bridle hooks underneath here. So he's got the ability to really hang <laughs> or store anything that he needs to on this trailer. Um, nice little corner for additional storage. 
this is a really cool little setup for somebody that just wants a really usable small four horse um, with lots and lots of storage. So I know you guys are drooling over this trailer now. Um, we can build one just like it. That's the good news. Uh, you do have a little bit of a wait right now. So if you're wanting this um, kind of early spring, give us a call soon. We can get it ordered and, and exactly how you want it. If you want to make some modifications to this one, the best thing to do is give us a call and tell us you saw this stock number on one of our videos. It is 5N210. 221. We can pull up the build sheets, modify it from there to be exactly what you want and get it on order. Most of our trailers right now are custom builds. And that's because we do have a little bit longer wait time than we used to in the past. So a lot of people are saying, well, if they're going to wait for a trailer, they're going to wait for the right trailer. Um, so we do have that ability to make these changes to those ones we have on order. You can probably get it sooner than a lot of your friends. So. I really appreciate you guys tuning in today and checking out this really, really cool trailer. Um, once again, my name is Callie Say. I love building custom trailers. I think it's really cool to see people's dreams kind of come to life. You can reach me at 970-309-6368 and text or call to that number. Um, thanks for checking it out. Have a great day.